So when I realized I was um, st at the beginning of menopause, um, I had, I'm, I've never been keen on traditional medicine. I don't take anything that I don't have to take. So I was looking for um, alternative remedies. I think I tried everything. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it didn't really seem to work. Um, I just, I think I just got to a point where I thought, okay, well, this will be over soon. My main thing with, with the whole menopause has been about heat <laughs> and getting very hot very quickly um, at various times of the day and night. I mean, obviously the night sweats um, broke my sleep, so um, I had, several years where I didn't really get a decent night's sleep at all because I would wake up in a pool of sweat in the middle of the night. But in retrospect, I look back to the time when I was sort of in the early stages of menopause and I had a massive, and I mean massive, psoriasis flare-up. I had no idea that potentially that may have been related to the menopause and nobody ever said that to me. I mean, I've been fortunate that I've been in a, a secure role here at QVC for a very long time, 29 years, you know, and I, so I'm, I feel very secure in that role. But actually I wanted something new and I suppose that's when the writing came about. I, I felt like I needed a new challenge for me as an individual because I, I was no longer able to become a mother again because that had been taken away from me. Your life changes, but it doesn't necessarily have to be for the worse.